A poem by Dante Strept. We've said our goodbyes and counted our nylon socks. We're off. I watched the grass pass by on my way through the wondrous jungle of moisture and creativity at its best. I imagine the swirls of colors within my mind, displaying all my feelings, the celebratory juices mix and pour out of all of us so fluidly. We slide and sink in the mud as it tries to claim our precious rubber boots. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah, as they carry their specks of green with the utmost determination. When you come to a tropical country, it is obviously profoundly impossible not to notice the abundance of life that is all over. Seeing a grand raised canopy of trees, delicate architectures of moss and lichen, it is hard not to perceive the perilous intricate ecology when in such company. These elusive and varied forms of life were not for us, though. We had wisely set our sights on something static and immobile, yet essential to the forest. The soil, an often disregarded medium that without, there would be no rainforest. Our project's focus wouldn't run, hide, or be lost in the dark wilds. It was ubiquitous, reliable, yet complex. A whole suit of organisms filled the numerous niches beneath our feet. And in traditional tropical fashion, these organisms were intimately related to everything around them, dependent on each other. The trees would be starved without the systems of fungi that release and convert nutrients. Their leaves would take weeks to decompose without shredding insects living in the soil. The fast pace of tropical life would be impossible. That's why we were here, to learn more about this fascinating and underreported world. We were sampling the soil in a clear and dense area, one with recently fallen trees and one with old growth monsters. We measured them out of ground cover and canopy, how thick the litter was, and took our soil and leaf samples. We brought these back to our base camp and performed chemical tests to determine the nutrient wealth of the soil and the live plants. The soil was like a characteristic tropical forest, poor, but the plants were healthy. Then came the lengthy process of sieving the soil for whatever organisms there were. We found many different types of visible insects, grubs, worms, and even a leech. Soak up the moisture that brings life to my skin, of now various tones. How can everything be so calm and peaceful, yet not at all? The jungle holds true mysteries that befuddle many. The mystery that I truly want to know is where our cabin smells as if we're all sweating rice and beans. The waterfall's mist gently kisses my face and causes me to believe that I have a great phobia of cold water surrounding my body. I slip, I fall, down I sink into the cold water that scares me so. I'm homesick for my loved ones, if only they were here to drink the air as I am. The ocean rushes in and out, just as it always has, and most likely always will. This place is truly amazing, and I wish I could take it home in a bottle to let it out whenever I need a little sand and sun. I feel as if my people came from here, from the heat and the humid air, from the green grass that I so eagerly wish to trim with a pair of scissors. Synthetics and friendship twirl together to create memories that I never thought I would have and hope I will never forget.